Mom shares simple home remedy for child's ear infection. Brilliant hack goes viral. Children go to school every day with hundreds of other children. When it comes to keeping from getting sick, kids don't really care. They don't wash their hands after opening and closing the bathroom door, and they don't cover their mouths when they sneeze or cough. This means that your child will get sick a few times during the year. When your child comes home sick, they bring the virus home to you. Soon the entire family is sick, including you. It can be frustrating, but it happens often. It's just part of being a parent. Kids often get sick because of the germs in the school, and it can happen at the most inconvenient times. Your child can get sick the night before you leave for vacation, or the illness can kick in while you're driving, resulting in vomit all over the car. As inconvenient as a sick child can be, it's heartbreaking for a parent. Seeing your child sick and in pain is one of the worst parts about being a parent. Anyone who's ever had an earache knows how painful they can be. An earache can make swallowing difficult, and the pain can make sleeping impossible. Many people take over-the-counter pain reliever when they have an earache. Unfortunately, it can take time for the pain medication to kick in. There's a woman who's figured out a great remedy for earaches that's since gone viral. The remedy was actually passed down from her great aunt. The family secret was passed down so often because it actually worked. Parents have been using two remedies for years. Some parents have their child lie on a heated pad with the painful ear on the pad. Some parents have their child lie on a hot water bottle. There are many parents who shove cotton balls in their children's ears, thinking that it eases the pain. In most cases, these remedies don't do much. A mother named Echo Featherstone has a remedy that actually works. Echo's remedy was relatively simple. First, you take a cloth and wet it with very hot water. When the cloth is soaked, wring it out. Next, put the wet cloth in a mug and cook it in the microwave for 20 seconds. The mug should be warm and the cloth should be burning hot. Place the open end of the mug over your child's ear. Just make sure that the hot cloth doesn't come out and touch your child's ear. According to Echo, the pressure from the mug will relieve the built-up pressure in the ear. This will cause the pain to subside. The remedy really works, which is why it gained so much attention. When Echo's son got an earache, she took a photo of him using her home remedy. She wrote that the secret was given to her mother from Aunt Mare. She also included the home remedy for her friends and family members to try. She never expected the post to go viral. Echo expected her post to be seen by her friends on Facebook. She was shocked when her post was shared over 261,000 times. It was also liked over 57,000 times. Parents all over the world were liking and sharing her post. Many of the comments were from parents thanking Echo for her home remedy. Many said that it really worked. She had to turn off her notifications the day after creating the post because the phone was constantly going off. She had no idea that so many people were going to share her post. Echo made sure to let her Facebook friends know that it can take up to 30 minutes for her home remedy to work. She says that her mother used it on her for years and she was prone to frequent earaches. Echo made sure that parents knew that her home remedy wasn't a cure. If a child has an ear infection, they'll need antibiotics to treat the condition. Her natural remedy is simply to ease the pain before a child can get to the doctor. The next time your child's complaining of ear pain, you should try Echo's natural remedy. It won't work right away, but if you can get your child to try the remedy for half an hour, it can be effective. You never know, it could work. The sooner your child starts to feel better, the sooner your child starts to feel better, the sooner you will start to feel better.